Hey guys, Astro Manny here back at it again with another video and another beautiful view just out here chilling on my cargo deck of my Constellation Aquila. Just chilling. Saying hi to my Merlin up there and uh, the sun and the ground of Daymar. We're just uh, probably about 15 kilometers off the ground, just, just hanging out enjoying the views having a good time but uh enough about that today's video is about bunkers okay last video i showed you guys how to efficiently grind bunker rep by using a gunship and flying down and doing the friendly mission and then the hostile mission and destroying the turrets using a gunship to land next to the hostile mission bunker you have to destroy the turrets of the hostile mission bunker. If you don't have a gunship that can do that, I have another way of doing that, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so let's get to it. Let's get back in our in our uh, bridge area and uh, get back to the mission at hand. Still beautiful, hey? Look at that. Gorgeous. Just had to start that off nicely, you know. A nice little beginning scene but yes so bunkers I showed off in the previous video exactly how to do how bunkers actually worked and how the rep reputation system works so I'm not gonna go over that again but I'm gonna show you again here that the goal is to get to five and security of your planet security so as you see there's blackjack which is art corp crusader Hurston, and microtech Okay, so I'm showing off Crusader because that's what I'm working on. But yes, so you have to do this missions, to do this setup, you have to be level two. So that way you get both missions, provide backup and clear criminal nests. Because you're going to do back and forth, provide backup and provide and do criminal nests. So if you don't have a gunship to do the criminal nests because those are hostile bunkers. And if you have, because you need a ship to take out the turrets without risking your life you can do it in many different ways and many different ships without taking your life but another way to do it is landing at the bunkers and driving so I'm here on Daymar and I am going to the mining facility SD1 Shubin mining facility on Daymar and I'm gonna go get a ground vehicle to put in my Andromeda now again, another prereq to, to doing this, you need to have a ship that can fit a ground vehicle in it. Uh, doesn't have to be an Andromeda, or I mean a Constellation, doesn't have to be a Connie. It doesn't have to be a big cargo ship of any kind. Um, you can find medium ships to fit some uh, ground vehicles in. You know, uh, a very common ship that a lot of players will have is the Cutlass Black. And you could, with these, fit a Cyclone inside the Cutlass Black to set up your ground vehicle that way. So that's a good option if you have a Cutlass Black. If you don't have anything big enough to fit a ground vehicle, then I'm sorry to say uh, these criminal nest bunkers, the hostile bunkers are kind of a pain in the butt. So you have to land far enough away to not get blown up and you have to walk. And that's kind of annoying. So do I recommend doing criminal nest bunkers when you don't have a ground vehicle or a ship to take out the turrets? I would say no. I would, I would not do it unless you had a, an ability to get a ground vehicle or a ship that could take out the turrets. Those are what I'm saying that you should have before you do criminal nest bunker grinding. So we're arriving here on the mining station so that we can grab a ground vehicle. Now you see these blue small pads here, Platinum Bay pads? This is where you will pick up a ground vehicle. You will land here. Uh, you can land on the pads on the place if you want to, but I prefer to land in front of the pads of the Platinum Bay, which is where the vehicle is going to spawn. See these? this pad I land right in front of? That's where the vehicle is going to spawn. show it off there right behind me those vehicles are going to spawn there okay so I'm going to turn off my engines 
get out my ship, and I'm going to go get me a ground view. So this is a little bit of a detour in the in the process, but you know this. I'm just showing this part so you get the full the full extent of how to do this. Um, I did not mean to go down my elevator. That was a mistake. Actually, that's fine. That's fine. We can do that because I can still open the cargo bay from back here. Because you need to open up the cargo bay so you can put the, the ground vehicle in. Again, any ship that can hold a ground vehicle is capable of doing what I'm doing right now. And um, if you don't have a ground vehicle yourself, well, guess what? You can buy a Cyclone at at Lorville for 20k. If you don't have 20k to buy a Cyclone, you could rent a Cyclone at any city for five hundred dollars for a day. To the ASOP you could rent a Cyclone for five hundred dollars. So we're gonna get here our Tumbrel Cyclone MT. I have the MT, so mine has a turret and some missiles on it. This is unnecessary. You don't need the MT. A regular Cyclone is probably preferred when you're doing bunker missions because then you have a little bit of cargo space if you wanted to. Like you could put a box in the back of it or you could put dead bodies in the back of it. So preferably a regular Cyclone would be even better. But I own the Cyclone MT. So that is what I'm gonna be using. Plus I haven't taken it out. And look at this thing. Wow, that's pretty cool, huh? That's even screenshot worthy right there. Look at that. Look at that. That's, that's something. So. This is cool because you can get a guy back here and be on a turret and have missiles. That's crazy. Can we get a can we get a nice look on that? Look at that. Okay. Anyways, so you hop in your ground vehicle here, jump in the driver's seat, and you turn it on the same way you turn on any ship. You press the R button to ready all systems. Turn it on. Boom. Right? Vroom, vroom, vroom. And then you drive it uh, into the back of your vehicle. So you see here, we're just going to come right in. Uh, you can do it in first person, third person, however you like to do it. Nice and easy. Drive it in. You can check in third person to see how you're doing. Plenty of room, right? We're not directly centered, but we don't have to be. And uh, plenty of room on the uh, on the back side there. Plenty of room. Uh, I do have to get out, so hopefully I give myself enough room to get out. Let's uh, get more room on the driver's side. Yeah. I've never driven a cyclone into uh, Constellation before, so this is a uh, first little thing here. Okay. So there we go. Turn off the engines with I, just like you do in any other thing. And you get out of the vehicle and voila, we have loaded our cyclone into our constellation. And now we're going to hit the closed cargo bay and ride on up. And that's that. So that's how to load your ground vehicle into your ship. Whether, like I said, any ship, any ship that can hold a cyclone will be fantastic for this. If you can't hold a cyclone, maybe you could hold a PTV. A smaller, there are smaller ground vehicles than a cyclone. Maybe you could hold one of those. But yeah, so there's options. Um, now we're going to pick up our next mission, which is going to be provide backup, right? Uh, we are going to do provide backup. Actually, yeah, we're going to do, yeah, we're going to do provide backup. Whatever one's closer to where we currently are. So provide backups on selling. The criminal's nest one that we got is on selling as well. So we're actually just gonna go ahead and we're gonna pick both of them up. We're gonna do provide backup. And we're also gonna grab the selling one. So that way we have them both on the same moon. And when we're done with the provide backup, we just go straight into the other one, the criminal's nest. So we're off. We're gonna find us an OM right over there. OM1. Beautiful stuff. We love to see OM1s. Server seems to be doing okay. Picked up those missions relatively quick. So that is fantastic news. 
I'm gonna take this time as I'm traveling over to Stella to ask you guys to please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel if you are not already because any little bit of support goes a long way in a small YouTuber's life, okay? I'm, I'm a small YouTuber and I'm just hoping to grow and hope to spread my love and knowledge of this game and other games and other things. There's other things that I will talk about that are not video related as well. Uh, just lots of things to come and I'm really excited about the future and I appreciate any support or any sharing of my videos or anything or just communication, just talking in, in, the, in the comments or joining a discord or anything like that. I appreciate you guys all very much. I can't thank you enough. And uh, yeah, enough with that. We're on our way to selling and to our first security post of the day. Now, last time I showed you this and the beginning mission was a little bit buggy because it took a while for it to load. This time we have no issues and it's working perfectly fine. So that might mean the AI is a little bit more dangerous. So we do have to be aware of the fact that the AI are going to come at us. And I'm showing you one loop where I do one provide backup and one criminal test. And that's going to be it. Then you just repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Obviously, once you have the vehicle loaded in your ship, you don't have to do that part again. So the first five minutes, eight minutes of this video, you don't have to do that again. That was just me showing you go to a mining center, pick up a land vehicle, put it in your ship, and you're good to go. You can do that at any mining center or research center, any place that has a platinum bay, you can spawn vehicles. In Crusader, you kind of have to go to one of the moons to get a uh, land vehicle, one of the mining centers or research centers on one of the moons. But when you're in Microtech, or I believe you can do it in Hurston, I'm not 100% sure, but other places have loading docks where you can load ground vehicles in because they're on the surface of the planet. As, as Crusader, you know, is on a gas giant, so there is no surface. So uh, there's that issue. But there are different ways of loading the vehicle. I just showed you easily. I went to Daymar, went to the mining facility, and boom, got on the, on the Platinum Bay Terminal, spawned a ground vehicle, and all done. And like I said, you can rent a cyclone at any city for $500 for a day. That's, that's pretty easy, right? That's doable, okay? We still have our lights on, just making sure the lights are still on. This is a friendly bunker, so there's no need to worry about the turrets, no need to land far away, no need to do any of that. So we're rolling up, and we're just going to park in front of the bunker, and it's that easy. Showed you this before. You just land yourself, go in, you have AI guards to help you kill the people. There's 10 people to kill. You have AI to help. Engines Should be off. easy money. Easy rep. It's not the best money in the world. It's, it's good money. But it's not the best money in the world. But it's easy rep. That's what we're doing here. We're rep grinding. Rep, 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 rep. So, same loadout as last time. Because I'm actually recording these videos kind of back to back. So I can get them done and have footage for you guys. Again send your elevators back up please lock your doors so that people cannot steal your ships so again same loadout as before i'm using the custodian and it is silenced and uh whatever weapon you choose is is, is fine i honestly like i said prefer a different gun than the custodian but i'm feeling bougie and i like the golden the golden skin um, last video if you missed it go check it out guys no spoilers but i found some beautiful guns I honestly should have grabbed and used those guns in this to showcase it, but that's future content to be made, right? I can take those guns that I found in the last bunker video and I could showcase those guns and those can be videos. So look out for that in the future. Got some beautiful guns to showcase. I have lots of guns to showcase, lots and lots and lots because I have got a great stock of things. But here we are in the bunker, on the first floor, taking on enemies. Again, you go from 
from uh, cover to cover. Always stay behind cover. Cover to cover. Set up for the next route. I have 19 bullets left, so I have to be aware of that. It looks like, according to the arrows, that the security guards have been taken out. So that's unfortunate. It's basically a bunker that I'm all by myself. Um, there's a guy up there. Make sure you don't get shot from up above. That can happen, and that has happened. And we don't want that to happen to anybody. Woo! Shots fired, shots fired. Woo! Reload, reload, reload. Oh gosh, a little bit of scariness there, huh? That's good content. I'd like to see that. Oh! Man, they had me cornered. Woo! See? Bunkers can be scary, man. Holy wow. Ah, my heart is bumping. Yeah, the, the AI are alive. The AI are alive, so be aware. And I had to reload, and I have a clip somewhere with one bullet, so I have to remember to take that off my belt so that doesn't get me killed later. But if I didn't reload there, I could have been in a lot of trouble. So here we're going to sprint and get into this building. Check these corners. Follow the walls, guys. Follow the walls. <laughs> As you saw, I stayed against the wall there and it kept me alive because I was able to hang out in the wall or hang out behind a wall because I always had cover. Oh God, no! Unfortunate, wow, he sniped me from all the way across the room. Oh, man down, man down. Let's see if we can get a beacon here. Um, if not, then, uh, hey man, watch out. These AI are dangerous. Who? Wow. Talk about disruption. Let's see if we can get a quick pickup and see if the guy's close and we'll, we'll continue on in the video. But if not, then uh, yeah, we'll have to uh, figure something out. Man, these they are alive. I saw them down the hallway and I fired on him, and I think I might have even killed him, but he shot, and man, whew, was he on point. Let's see, so far no one has picked up our rescue beacon. Nobody picking up rescue beacon. People are talking in chat. Um, okay, so we got a rescue. He's really far away. Man, I don't I don't often go down in bunkers. I do a lot of grinding. And, and I usually don't go down in bunkers. That was wild. I really need to stop using this custodian because it's not long range. And I think that's getting me. You know? Let's see if he starts moving at us pretty quickly. Um, you can see here that he is 42 million kilometers away, meaning that he's probably on Art Corp. And if he doesn't start warping over right away, it's going to take him forever to get here. When you guys pick up medical beacons, there's one thing I recommend to people who pick up medical beacons. When you pick one up, please, like kind of make it like it's realistic right if you pick up a medical beacon you're going to go save someone's life in this game yeah they have an hour and a half before they die but in real life an hour and a half that guy's probably dead so if you're in the middle of something that's fine if you know you're almost done but if you got to stop and get your gear sorted and all that whatnot let's not you know Hopefully not be in that situation and picking up medical beacons. So this guy hasn't said anything in chat. I mean, I haven't said anything in chat either. So there is that. Um, let's see how it's going. I, I might turn back off chat here because I don't know what they're talking about. They're talking about medical beds, the cargo grids. What are 
are they talking about? Actual emergency rooms. All right, but uh, guy is looking like he's warping or quantum traveling, so that is maybe a good thing there. And yes, he's moving. Hopefully he's on his way here. And wow, again, um, another altercation to the video, wow. The question is, do I keep this? <laughs> do I edit this out? I think not. I like the fact that I died. It happens. It's part of the game. Um, you have your option of either backspacing and dying or waiting for rescue. And in this case, uh, when you die, you do fail the mission. So you actually lose rep if you die. So that's why it's important to call a, a medical beacon. And the guy has responded in chat and said that he's on the way. So that's a relatively quick respond time. So good for him. Uh, he is all the way in Art Corp, so he does have to QT over here. And that's a bit of a pain, but he said he's on the way. Uh, the problem is we're, we're in a friendly bunker, but it's not friendly to him, which means he's going to have to destroy the turrets or come on a ground vehicle and so that takes more time and hopefully he doesn't die to the turrets so that is the other situation in this ah, man unfortunate I think I'm gonna keep this in anyways but let's let's uh Let's make something out of this, right, guys? So, how's everyone doing? You know, how how are we doing? Are we liking the videos? Uh, leave a comment below if you're enjoying the fact that uh, I'm leaving in the fact that I got shot and died, and not just going, oh, oh well, I died. Let's restart the video and make a different one. I th I think this happens in the game, and it's important to play out the immersion and continue to stay a part of the game. I I died. It happens. Uh, not very often. I, I, I don't. I don't want to say that I go down a lot because I don't. Uh, I also don't actually die die a lot. Um, so far this patch, I haven't died very much at all. There's been actually on video. It's probably one of the only times I died. I died to a uh, NPC ramming me in my bounty hunting video using my Vanguard Sentinel. <laughs> that was a death. <laughs> that was rough. But yeah. So here we are. Um, waiting on our guy. He's on the way. So there's us dead. Laying on the floor. Or in cap. Let's check the hostels. Uh, I will say... Three out of ten remaining. Uh, there are turrets. So we got a guy coming, which is good, and he's got to deal with the turrets. But we're letting him know that there are turrets. And, yeah. Uh, what else to talk about over here? How about future plans, guys? Future plans. So, this is a bunker series I'm running to show how to gain bunker rep. I will also be showing how to make money doing bunkers. That's something that I look forward to in the future. Uh, I will be showcasing weapons. I will be showcasing ships. And it won't be like the normal showcases I'm not gonna go through ships and show off like where's my audio it's there okay it's just really quiet I'm not gonna go in and show off my ships like by walking through every single corridor and talking about what's this and what's that about a ship I'm gonna mostly do kind of fighter ships and show off their capabilities and fights 
and that's the way I'm gonna do it. I might do. I'm, I'm also gonna, you know, talk about their parts and 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 things like that. But I'm gonna do a lot of gameplay footage of my showcasing, not necessarily look at this. This is a part of the ship. I'm gonna do like, look at this gun. It goes pew pew. The ship goes fast. You get around them, <laughs> you know. But more, more detailed than that. That's just me talking about anyways the NPCs on this server are alive it's going crazy um, I'm dead the guy's getting close he's he's uh, within a million kilometers so that means he's 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 flying into Crusader real soon and that's the quick part he's still got us like I said take down the turrets and hopefully he doesn't die in the bunker so, yeah. I will communicate with the guy as he gets closer, let him know that there are three enemies remaining. I am in the server room, and I have no eyes on enemies. All uncut. I'm also going to do a lot of co-op stuff. I'm also going to do an introduction video to my organization and my friendly joint partnership organization that I am a part of. That is in the future. Um, also other games. How about uh, how about the new Zelda game coming out? That will be a playthrough. Not necessarily gonna do a Star Wars playthrough. I haven't decided on that yet. I haven't even played the game yet. So if I do, it will be completely blind. I'm not watching any videos on that game. Because I really, 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 really love the first one. So I did let this guy know that the turrets are a thing. He's now 600 kilometers away, which means he's on Selen. I think we're on Selen. Or are we on Yellow? I think we're on Selen. So he's on cell and he's warping to our location now. Quantuming to our lo location. I like warp better. <laughs> quantum. Q I mean, QT is easy. But saying quantuming, it's kind of rough. So, there's that. The guy's getting close. He's going to have to deal with the turret soon. So again, this is going to make the video a little bit longer than it needed to be. But hey, if you don't want to sit here and chat with me while I'm down, you could always fast forward it a little forward, you know. Uh, it won't hurt my feelings. But this is just me showing some gameplay of, of bunker grinding. And it happens. You die. It happens. It happens to all of us, even professional mercenaries. So don't feel bad if it happens to you. Everything I do in my videos is is doable. Some are easier than others. I make videos on making good money doing bounty hunting. Sometimes people struggle to do that. But you can practice and you'll get there. If you need some pointers, there's pointers in my videos. Uh, if you need more pointers than that, I can give pointers. Leave a comment. Join the Discord. Let's let's grow together. Just rambling on now. I don't want to just sit here in silence. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm going to say... Uh, Mix. Watch for turrets. Inside there are three out of ten, and I have no eyes.
making sure that it's 3 out of 10 still. Well, he's 1.7 kilometers away, so I think he's going to start engaging the turrets now. Or he's driving in, one of the two. I don't hear anything going on. Man, but that was... Uh, a crazy recovery from almost dying in the beginning of this bunker to actually dying in the middle of it. It's kind of crazy. Still have one more bunker to do. Hopefully I don't die in that one. <laughs> The guy's slowly coming in, so maybe he's on a ground vehicle. It looks as if he's in a ground vehicle. Who knows? Hopefully he gets here. It's been nearly 20 minutes of me laying on the ground. So that's that's exciting content, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's now six hundred away. Unfortunate. Come on, sir. Get here. Get down the elevator. Let's get this. If he goes down, then it's all over, man. It's all over. I'm out of things to ramble about. <laughs> what else is there to ramble about? Uh, things going on in life. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to sit here and talk about sports and Star Citizen, right? Don't want to sit here and talk about other things. Uh, oh, I got artwork coming. You know, uh, the, the artwork, my the, the picture on my profile here for uh, Astro Manny uh, is done by my girlfriend and she's working on some other stuff and hopefully we will have more artwork coming soon for banners or or, or uh, just some fan art. Well, it's not really fan art because it, it's her drawing it, but things we can put in title screens and, and, and things like that, so... That'll be cool. The guy is now 95 away. 90 away. Second floor server room. And he's rolling up. 
20 minute response time. It, it's acceptable. Any longer than 20 minutes, and you're pushing it, man. Because people have things to do, places to be, and sitting here and waiting on a medical beacon for 20 minutes, guy could be dead. Could have been murdered, could have been executed. Fifty meters away, it means he's probably in the bunker, yeah? Possibly. I still can't see anything. But somebody has died. An AI has died. He's still moving. More noises from enemies. Another hostile down. guy left. Guy has shown up. Calvary is in. Got a head injury now, so a little bit of blur on the screen. No marker on the final guy. Please don't tell me it's a glitched. case I'm gonna have to redo this video I can't say shit head injury is OP all right bunker cleared we did it the guys already gone up to the elevator We have a head injury, guys. Check that out. I get to show that off a little bit, huh? <laughs> so how's this for a uh, decently sized long video of a bunker that's supposed to be quick, easy bunker grinding? But we've already accepted the mission, right? Yep. Track that. Boom. Hopefully this head injury doesn't kill us. It's all gonna be okay. We're gonna live. We're gonna live to see another day. There's little, tons of garbage everywhere. This time I did keep my doors closed and nobody came and jacked my ship. There's that. And on the ship we made it. No medical bed to heal my injury sadly. But uh yeah. 
off to our next mission. <laughs> I ran out of so many words that uh, I have less to talk about. So I guess I just have to talk about the mission. Um, just get high enough in the air around two kilometers, 2,000 meters, and you should be able to set up your quantum travel. For some reason it says obstructed. Why is it saying that? I don't know. It should not have that issue. On the same moon, it's on the surface of... on the surface, so why is it showing obstructed? I can't see anything because of my injury. There we go. That was weird. Maybe because it was like on the bunker or something. Sorry for the darkness, but this is my head injury. It's pretty cool, huh? Or is it not cool? Is it annoying or is it cool? <laughs> Which one? I think it's cool that they have things like this. I have a head injury, my health won't go to 100%, and my hearing and my visuals are all kinds of screwed up. And I died in the middle of a recording. Not upset about it. Here we are pulling up the NT999XV. And remember, we're taking ground transport this time instead of doing pew 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 on the turrets. So we're going to be taking ground transport. Which means you got to land about 2 kilometers or 1.5 kilometers out so you can safely be at a turret fire and then safely touch down and drive over there. Look at those little black spots, those are my head injuries. I'm seeing things, somebody help, I'm seeing things. Help me, help. All right, so here we are rolling up, we're three kilometers out, almost two kilometers out. And we're going to take our ground vehicle. So I'm going to try to park here. You see all the turrets are up and active? I'm going to park here behind this little hill. It's also in a crater itself. So that means it's probably not that big of a deal. Kind of want to get on flat ground. Probably could have parked a bit closer because it's in a crater. But for the sake of showing off the ground vehicle, we're going to park out here. Engines are off. Engines are off. And we're going to do this with our head injury. I tend to get kind of caught in the constellation chair. are rolling up to our ground vehicle pressing the no not climbing the ladder please it seems like to get out you have to press this back button over here which is really weird and go ahead and jump in the driver's seat turn the engine on and vroom vroom here we go yeah, boy. Boy's in a cyclone. A little bit of muffle sounding. Ooh, we hit a rock right away. Isn't that great? <laughs> no. Attention. Why are you talking to me while I'm in a cyclone? Yeah, boy. There we go. Look at this beauty. Beautiful. 
Kicking in the jumps. Yeah. 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 A little bit of dust pick up there. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And here we are. At the bunker. And that is the other option you have to getting to a bunker that has turrets when it's hostile. We have 12 bullets in this clip, so we gotta be aware of that. Make sure you don't get caught with a reload and die again. I've already spent extra time, 20 minutes of extra time being dead on the floor. Don't want to go through that again. But hey, it was a good time. Show it off a little bit extra. Some enemy there, pow pow, pew pew. Clip done and over with, that was good. Use those last 12 bullets of the clip. Guy crossed away, he's down too. Or I thought he was down. See again, I'm using a submachine gun here. I do recommend using a little bit longer range. Assault rifles are pretty amazing. I'm using the sub for the bouginess at the moment. But range is not the greatest. Down goes Fraser. See? Oh! Gotta reload, gotta reload, gotta reload. I might die here. Nope. One more guy. We got another injury. We got a chest injury now. Come on, one last guy. Make it through. Woo! Scary, man. The AI are alive. Holy cow. <laughs> That's some great footage. This is why it's being kept in. We got a head injury. We got a chest injury. Wow. I'm gonna check this loot box for some med pens because I used a few of them. Guess what? We didn't get any med pens. So we'll just take them off the dead bodies. Um, these guys don't have med pens, but this guy does. So we'll loot him up. Make sure our med pens are correct. Yep. There we go. Move him up. And instead of grabbing through his loot, we can just grab his med pen on the side, hit a quick, boom. Fully stocked on med pens. We got a red box here, a double red box here. So let's see if we find anything special. We found a P6LR and a Golden Devastator. I have plenty of Golden Devastators. I'm just gonna take the sniper rifle. Another box. Okay, in that case, I guess we'll take the golden as well. And then we'll go ahead and we'll grab the pistol and put it in our pocket as well. Well. Oh, triple red box. Good loot, good loot. Nothing too special here. Let's take another pistol. That's okay. Another two pistols. That's okay. And, uh, yeah. I'll stop for red boxes, why not? But that is it. Bunker complete. We're going to drive back now to our constellation and uh, pick up these tractor beams. Can't ever have enough tractor beams. Oh, by the way, I think I am going to have to drop the golden gun. Or no, because I could put a gun on 
my cyclone. I get to show that off. That'll be cool. That'll be pretty cool. And we'll end the video by rolling up on the constellation, and that'll be it. Sorry again for the extended time of the death, but be careful. If your server is on fire, or like working, is doing great, is being awesome, then make sure to bring a friend or be careful. But you see that? I put the gun there on the rack. So each each uh, seat has a gun rack. And that's really cool. I'm going to jump back in the driver's seat here. And we're going to turn back on our engines. And we're, we're beat up. So theoretically, when you're grinding, you don't want to get beat up like this. You don't want to die. So be careful when you're, you're grinding and your server's doing really good. Because that can happen. And so here we are, driving back to our Constellation Aquila. Vroom vroom. A little first person action. I do enjoy the first person view while driving. I showed off a little bit of the third person on the way here on the jumps and that was really cool, but first person can be rather appealing as well. Oh, rock. Oh, slip and slide. Can't see nothing. Oh, we're going up and over the rock. That works. Yeah, boy. We are in here. Like swimwear. Oh, snap. Rocks. The lore. All right. Oh, don't run into your ship. <laughs> Park the bad boy where you want it and where you left off. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Yeah. A little bit more. All right. And we are here on our constellation with a little bit of a sound glitch from what do you know, Xenothread? Because this is recorded at a time that Xenothread is still happening. So we're gonna go ahead and we are on our ship so we can put our guns in the inventory and grab our bougie golden custodian off. Put that away the way it's supposed to be. And this is me right here, Astro Manny, signing off. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I thank you guys for everything. I appreciate all your help. Uh, check out this beautiful ride I'm in. Stay tuned for more. There's plenty more to come. Check out all the links, the discords, the twitches, the instagrams, all those things. Catch me anywhere you can. Um, thank you guys for all your support once again. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day and adios.